Hello, hello. Hello to everyone out there. Hope everyone is doing well on today. All right, I know. Yeah. D-Roy Sama question got lost in, in the saw somewhere. <laughs> oh, hey, D-Roy Sama. Can you repost your question? Because I know your question was first. If I'm not mistaken, I saw your question first. And I saw Certified Princess's question. But I can't see your question or her question at this time. So if you don't mind, could you just repost your question for me? Thank you. And I will start with you as soon as you repost your question. All right, hello everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. I am doing fine, thanks for asking. Okay. Uh, D-Roy Sama, did you repost your question? <clears throat> if you didn't, can you repost? I know you posted earlier and the question got lost. I don't know what happened to it, but I don't see it. Oh, you said you did it? Well, okay. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Well, I'll begin. Okay, Certified Princess. Certified Princess, did you um, post a question earlier? Okay. Yeah, because I, I don't know what happened. But your question and D. Roy Sama's question disappeared some kind of way. But I'm going to start off with you two first. So um, let me see. All right. And Domitia, you did too. I remember seeing your name too. I see your question, uh, Certified Princess. All right, so I'm waiting for D-Roy Sama to repost her question. And then I will go in the, I will go in the order that I received the question. But I am going, I'm going to start now. Domitia, you'll be the third person. All right, let's see. What's coming up? Okay, what's coming in April? Oh. <laughs> what's coming in April for D. Roy Sama? Okay, let's see. Cards falling on the floor already. So I feel like you may be partnering up with someone or you're team, teaming up with someone. This could be at your workplace. But let's see what else comes out. Yeah, I'm getting something about work. Planning something.
Oh, okay. So you may be reconnecting with someone from your past. Like you're deciding to work on something with someone from your past. Overcoming some obstacles. Yeah. I see you working. I see work, work, work. This could be you working in a partnership or this is you working on a job. But I'm seeing you doing a lot of work in the month of April. I don't know if you're like working overtime, if you're like working to um to get something. Maybe like a car, a house or relocating. But I see you like teaming up. Like working towards something. This could be you working towards a vacation as well. But I feel like it's you working towards like accumulating money for something. Like a move or um a car. If it's not that, it's a relationship. Someone from your past coming in and you're deciding to move forward with this person or to like work on the union. Okay. I don't know if you have children like um, high school or college. Do you have any children? Okay. All right. Yeah, but I feel like you're going to be working extra hard in April. That's what I got. All right, let's see. Hey, Crystal, we have Certified Princess is next. We have Certified Princess and then Delmicia, Gemini Love. Oh my goodness, my ears are ringing. <laughs> huh. All right, let's see. Certified princess. Okay, that was too many cards. All right, I've got 10 of pentacles. So certified princess, I feel like you may have some money coming towards you. Some unexpected money coming your way. Could also get an offer about a job, a promotion, a raise. Could also have an Aries coming towards you. Or just a fire sign. I got a lot of fire energy here. You could be traveling. Planning on traveling or taking a vacation somewhere. But I'm more so getting you receiving some unexpected money. This could be in a form of a raise. A new position on your job. Something where you're like in a leadership role. This could be something you manifested. Could have something to do with a Cancer, Pisces, or an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay. All right, Delmicia, your question is next. And then I'm going to go on and order... From uh, Gemini Love, Firefly Magic, Dream, Dr. Fizza, Blessed Girl, Sunflower, uh, Delmicia, your question is next, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see.
Okay. Is this person named Chris Yard? Is that how you pronounce his name? Chris Yard? Hey, Kayla. Um, Delmicia, I am not getting Chris Shard coming in with a serious offer. I feel like this person is still like juggling multiple people. That they have options. And I feel like you should like go in another direction. Like hold back. And if you have options in love, go towards those other options. Because it, this person is not like coming in wanting anything serious. I'm getting that you should move on from this person. Okay. All right, let's see. Gemini love. What are C's current C's current feelings towards Gemini love? C's current feelings. You're welcome, Delmicia. Um, Kayla, you know what? I was having issues. I have literally been having issues with my internet. For like a week now. I don't even know why. I'm guessing it's maybe retro, retrograde energy. Who knows. Alright. Gemini love. Seize current feelings. For Gemini love. Um, Gemini love, did you and this person have like a falling out? I feel like this person wants to start over, but I'm getting like this person needs clarity. Like they need to feel like it's okay for them to come towards you to work things out. They do have their guard up. So they are kind of like on a defense. But they do want to, okay, so you're not in contact. They they do, it. this person does have their guard up. I feel like they want to know that if they come in, you're not going to block them. So this person is like operating out of their pride and the ego. Yeah. I feel like your person wants to come back in, but this person is in fear of rejection. They think that you're going to block them. So they're not doing anything at this time. They're not saying anything. They're not doing anything. If you don't go towards them, they're not going to go come towards you. They want you to make the first move because this person is very egotistical. I'm getting sensitive and... This person does not like to feel rejected. Okay. All right. I'm going to move on to Firefly Magic. I've already read your messages. I'm going to go straight into your question. Hey, Divine Empress Airy. How are you? <clears throat> You're welcome, Gemini love. Thanks for joining in. All right, let's see. Firefly magic. Yes, I am doing well. I was sick. I was down for the count for almost two weeks. Well, if it wasn't a full two weeks, it felt like two weeks. <laughs> uh, okay.
why is this high priestess here? Three of swords. So, Firefly Magic, I feel like your person, is this person an earth sign? I see your person's initials here too. But I feel like this person, I, I feel like this person wants to like come together with you. But your person is more so like focused on their finances, like focus on a job. That's what I'm getting. Like this person doesn't want to lose their job if this doesn't work out. Yeah, because it's like this person is feeling like they will have to like creep or sneak around. And I'm not, this person is like a king. Like, I don't, I don't feel like you. this person is going to jeopardize the job. That's what I'm getting. It's like they hold themselves in a high standard and high standards. And like they will have to creep around or they would feel like they would have to creep around if this was to like move forward. So I feel like, I feel like it would be like a rejection. Like they would flirt, but I feel like that may be as far as it goes. Unless you two are like, working in different departments or in two totally different areas of your job. But if you're like working side by side, they're going to like tread lightly. The boss won't mind. Yeah. I think you should throw the fishing the, the fishing uh hook out there and see what happens. I mean, that's the only way you're going to find out like I I feel like I mean, according to the energy of the cards that he's he's going to take the job like he takes his job seriously, but like I feel like by now, you, he should be giving you like hints, like flirting back or something like that. Like if you flirt with him and he doesn't flirt back, that would be like the sure sign to like, you know, leave it alone. Because he's like a, um, what's the word? He's one of those people that's like, he, hold, he holds high value in his position or I don't know if he have a title or if he's some type of leader, but he takes it serious. Yeah, high regard, yes. Like he's a, a man's man. I don't know who he is, but that's what I'm getting. <laughs> All right, let's see. Dream. All right, let's see. Dream. Okay. Oh. You're welcome, Firefly Magic. Thanks for joining in. 
dream. Okay. So dream, I feel like this person wants a new, they want a new beginning. Okay. In love. But they know they have to make a, this person knows they will have to make a decision to be serious with you. And they can't really give you what you want. So they're not taking action towards you. But this person does have a lot of feelings for you. But they can't give you what you want. And I feel like your person knows that you're not waiting for them anymore. <laughs> yeah. They know that there's a decision between you and this other person. So it's like if you're not creeping or sneaking around, they know that they can't come near you or, you know, come towards you. Yeah. So I feel like they're staying away because of that. They know, this person knows that you're at your wit's end with them. Okay, let's see, Dr. Fizzer. Next 48 hours for Dr. Fizzer. Then we have Blessed Girl. Next 48 hours for Dr. Fizzer. One more. He can't contact you anyway. <laughs> well, that's what he gets, right? Well, he's. it looks like he was looking to pop up. But I don't feel like he is, though. He's thinking about it, but he's not. He already knows what time what time it is. All right, Dr. Fizzer, you could have a, a Libra or a Sagittarius in your environment or coming your way with an unexpected conversation to balance things out with you. Yes, I feel like someone may be coming in wanting your attention. I do feel like. Oh, you did a, a cord cutting. That's right. Yeah, you cut ties with him. And trust me, he can feel that energy. Dr. Fizzer, I feel like someone is coming in. <laughs> you have an unexpected person coming in from the past. And this person is coming in, like, wanting to balance things out. They want all of your attention to be on them, okay? And I feel like this is going to confuse you. It's going to confuse you because you don't see this person coming. I see you like saying, well, like, well, what do you want? Or why are you coming back in or something like that? It may spark an argument. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're not going to take this person back. Like, I see you cutting this person off or walking away or you're not letting someone from your past back in. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's what happens. Sometimes you have to do like those cord cutting rituals because sometimes people, you have soul ties and you got to cut that cord sometimes. Because it may not be you um, 
staying connected to this person through spirit. It's, it may be them connecting to you, to your energy. But once you cut ties and you cut that cord, they won't be able to feel your energy at all. All right, blessed girl. What's coming towards blessed girl and love? We have blessed girl, um, sunflower, Lorraine, and then Pinky. And then Lakia. Blessed girl. you have options in love bless girl you have options in love i do feel like um i see you moving forward with someone that you are equally yoked with you're leaving behind an immature person like one of these one of these options are immature and the other one matches your energy so I see you cutting ties or walking away from this. They're, they're either younger than you or they're immature. You're going to walk away from that person and move towards the person that's giving you equal love, equal recognition, equal attention. That eclipse is clipping people out, right? Yeah, I see you going towards a wish fulfillment. Okay, let's see. Sunflower. I don't even know if Blessed Girl was um, present, but I'm moving on to Sunflower. Hey, Sunflower. How are you? Hope all is well. Hi, what are your own feelings and intentions? Let me get Summer. Jerome. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking about Jerome. From all for Martin, Jerome in the house. <laughs> oh, oh boy. I am. I'm doing well. I feel a lot better. Okay. So, it looks like this person is coming in wanting something stable, long-term. I do feel like this person is very attracted to you, but you got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands here. So, this is a new, a fresh new beginning for you. New opportunities, forward movement, progress. I feel like this is something you manifested. I see this person. Um, there's a lot of pain. Is this person a fire sign? Or or um, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo? Okay, you did manifest someone like him. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. I'm happy for you, Dream. You said he is. Well, this person has a lot of passion. This person is passionate about you. Very attracted to you. But it's not all about the passion. They want something stable, too. Okay? The Empress card at the bottom of the deck. So they do want to nurture they want to grow in a relationship with you. So I feel like things are um I feel like things are going to be okay between you two. Okay. All right, let's see. Hey Lorraine. How are you? I'm doing well. 
So, yeah, something stable, yes. Hey, Martha. Hey, Gracie. All right, let's see. What, the, what does Lorraine need to know right now? You said waiting for him to make the first move. <laughs> you're doing better. I'm happy you're doing better, Lorraine. Hi, Ashley. You're welcome, Sunflower. Hey, Jasmine. I'm doing good. Where you been at? <laughs> All right, let's see. I don't know why my, my voice is hoarse. Lorraine. Uh, Lorraine, I feel like I see a conversation. A conversation taking place. That's going to bring in some type of clarity for you. I don't know if you are. I don't know if you have options regarding your work. Let me see. Why is this um, Hermit card here? Oh, this is love. Well, this could also be um, a new job offer too. So I see a conversation that brings in clarity pertaining to, I feel like this is work. Are you looking like to get a new job or something like that? Or to like explore new options? Okay. Um Are you dating someone new? This could be new love coming in as well. Because I see a new offer here for you. There's an offer here, but I, I also see you weighing your options. Like, you're, you're trying to get an answer from your intuition. Like, you're trying to get clarity if you should, like, move forth with something. Cause I see you cut, I see you put up boundaries. I see you cut ties, but I also see, I see you having options in love or you're weighing your options about a new beginning in love. Something you've been manifesting. Okay. Okay. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. But because it's like you cut ties and you got clarity. Okay. You partnered up with someone and this person, okay. They gave you clarity about this, this relation, their relationship. But I see new love coming in for you. And I feel like it's because you are, um, growing internally like you're you're healing first and foremost 
that's like the most important thing after a breakup. Most people just break up and go straight into another relationship without taking time out to heal. And that baggage go from union to, you know, person to person. You So the fact that you are taking that time out to heal and to grow, I see you manifesting. There's a new relationship coming in for you. Could be with a Virgo or a Gemini. Yeah, you got the four, the four of wands popped out. Star card at the bottom of the deck. So things are going to get better. I, I do see like a new beginning in love. I, I feel like your next relationship is going to be the one. But I would just say take your time and heal first. So that, you know, that energy is clear. The path is clear. You said, ooh, spicy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Pinky. Why is LK so in and out? Okay. You're welcome, Lorraine. Thank you. So, Pinky, I feel like LK is in and out. This person may have started over with someone else. Like, they may have a new person that they're dealing with and they may not want you to know about it, but I feel like you're going to find out about it unexpectedly. I don't know if you're going to see this person on their social media. You might see this person um, out in public somewhere and it may cause a fight or some type of conflict, argument. Could be a physical fight. I hope not. But that's what I'm getting. This person has someone new that they, they're, they're hiding. Yeah. That's what I have. Your person is dating someone else. Hello, Jane. Hi, Amma. How are you? All right. So we have Lakia. Lakia, your question is next. Here's my ex boyfriend, Troy. All right, let's see. Troy. Lakia and Troy. Hi, May. How are you? Lakia and Troy. haven't gotten to you yet, Kayla. So, Lakia, <laughs> uh, I feel like this person is upset that you uh, started dealing with this other person. They're viewing you as toxic or a manipulator. I do feel like this person wants to talk to you, but they're wanting, they may want to talk to you not to balance things out, but I feel like they're going to use this this um, situation to try to get some type of revenge or something. I'm seeing some type of injustice here. Like, they may try to come in to, like, have a one-night stand with you or something. They may try to pick an argument with you. I 
I see this person coming in, like, telling you that they want some type of consistency in a new beginning. You're, this person is mad because you moved on. I feel like they're going to try to mess up your new union. Yeah, this person may have thought that you were going to sit around and wait for them to get their act together. So I see this person being upset because you moved on. All right, I think Crystal, hey Crystal, I think your question is up next. All right, let's see, Crystal. Ugh. How are you, Crystal? How are you, how is your dog doing? You got two dogs and one dog. Was your dog, has your dog been acting crazy? Because my dog has been acting crazy, like, I want to say like three days before the eclipse and still today, this dog is really like behaving weird. I don't know what's going on. All right, current energies around crystal. Current energies around crystal. Did you hear me, Crystal? Probably not. <laughs> I was asking if your dog, are your dogs, are your animals acting crazy? this hanging in here. Death card and hangman. I see water sign energy, um, specifically Scorpio and Pisces crystal. I feel like you having a new start your cats were okay yeah I see you having a new start um I feel like you have a, a new opportunity coming your way so if you were feeling like things were stuck at your job and you've been waiting for like um uh, uh, an offer, an opportunity, something new coming in. I feel like you, there's something new coming in. And you may be question, questioning if you should take uh, a leap of faith or take a risk because it may be out your comfort zone. I feel like you should take this, take this leap. I didn't feel the earthquake. I was actually I was asleep. <laughs> I did not feel anything. Yeah, you have a new a new beginning coming in, Crystal. So if you felt like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting, there's something new coming in, and you're going to have to take that leap or take that jump, the risk. Because you've been waiting for something to come in and it's, and it's, it's here. Okay. So I know like sometimes when new opportunities present itself to us, we question if, if the move is the right move. I feel like this will be the, the right move. I think the last time that energy popped up, I feel like um, in the energy, it was saying don't take that, that offer because it, 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 it seems like 
they're offering you something that's too good to be true. There was some deception behind the offer. So I feel like this offer that's coming in is the right offer to take. It's like better suited for you. All right, Jessica, general reading, general message, messages for Jessica. All right, so we have Jessica, May, and then Kayla. Jessica, May, and Kayla. So, I have the Emperor card here. Aries energy is here. So, Luminous, I see you being more disciplined at this time. I do see an offer coming your way. This could be like a, um, a new opportunity at work. But it may come with more responsibility or more duties. I feel like there's something that you're going to love. You're just going to have to decide on if you want to, if you want to uh, take on these responsibilities. Cards always falling on the floor. This, could, this looks like this is a leadership role or something where you're in a you're um in some type of authority figure. Okay. Let's see. We have May. May Kayla, Divine Empress Airy. In that order. May, Kayla, and then Divine Empress Aerie. What's coming towards May? What is coming towards May? I know I heard a car flip flip over. Could have a Leo coming your way, May. Or fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I feel like something you've been waiting for for a long time is coming in. It's going to make you feel really happy. It's going to bring some joy into your life. I do feel the need to say it may send you in a new direction. Like as far as a move. I'm definitely getting fire energy here. Yeah, I'm seeing something about traveling. Something long term. I'm seeing a mature person. A mature fire sign. Someone that's like um, financially stable, grounded. I do feel the need to say you may meet this person in your travels. Like, I don't know if you're planning a vacation or anything like that. But I'm getting someone in your travels. All right, Kayla. In the middle of cooking, just I was trying to ask, how is AJ gonna ask you? Three years. Oh, you've been waiting for three years. Well, maybe why? That's why that three of wands was there. Um, I feel like you need to get out a little bit more. I don't know if you go out, but um. 
Yeah, there are opportunities on the other side of that weight. So I feel like you need to get out there a little more, like go on some trips or vacation or something like that. How is AJ going to actually fix things between us since he acts like... Okay. Kayla and AJ. How is AJ going to fix things? That's too, too many. How is AJ? Yeah, I think you need to get out a little more, May. <laughs> you didn't miss your turn, Jane. I'm on um, Kayla. All right, let's see. Uh, so, Kayla, I feel like AJ needs to be honest about what he really wants. I feel like you and AJ definitely need to communicate more. And AJ needs to, like, cut ties with that other person. Because you got this double card here. And I feel like this magician card and the double card coming out back to back. I feel like AJ is, like, really playing games. I'm getting to him being a trickster, playing games. Look, the Seven of Swords on top of it, still being deceptive and dishonest. Trickery, cheating, deceitful. <sighs> I'm getting that he's still not he's still not being honest. That's what I'm getting. And I don't never really the, the magician card and the double card don't usually come out back to back in my spreads. But and, and then to top it off or to clarify, the seven of swords is here and the three of cups. So I'm still getting that this other person is still in the picture. This the other person is still in the picture. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just an act. It's just an act. I feel like he may be saying that just to keep you around. He could be saying that because y'all have a child together. But it, it's, 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 he, look, the fool card. He's being reckless. Like, he doesn't know how to move forward. He's being inconsiderate. It's manipulation. So, um, I know he's saying you know, he's saying what you want to hear, but I would definitely try it with caution. Or proceed with caution. Because I'm not getting good energy from him at all. Oh, he stayed with her now? Yeah. So if he's staying with her, he's definitely um playing some type of game. All right, so I am going to move on to Divine Empress Airy. And then we have Julia Juliana. Juliana. Yep. I think you should let him let it let it let him stay over there. Because he's playing both ends of the fence. Or however you put it. It's a game. He may be trying to make sure you don't have anyone else in your bed. Okay, Divine Empress Airy.
So I feel like um, Divine Empress Airy, I see you moving to a place where there are lots of trees. Um, could be mountains. I'm not really getting like the city life. I'm getting like more of the country style living. I feel like it's going to be hot. So I don't know if you were um like planning on moving to the south or something like that. But I'm getting hot. Moving away from the city. I don't know where you live, but if you live in the city, I see you wanting to like move to a more secluded area. More money on the way for me. Juliana. Let's see. Some of these people are no longer on, but... For my regulars, I know who I can who to read for and who not to. Juliana. So if you were wondering, your question is, do you have more money coming in? I, I will say yes. Okay. Now I am going to move on to um, so I have, let me just make sure. Okay. I have Ashley Ashley, are you still there? We have Ashley, Gracie, Jasmine in that order. Ashley, Gracie, and Jasmine. All right. Hey, Gracie. <clears throat> Ashley. If I call your name and I don't get a response, I will go to whomever responds. I know um, Jasmine is a regular, so I will definitely be answering her question. Let's see. Gracie. Okay. All right, Ashley, what's coming towards Ashley in love? Ashley, you can have a water sign coming your way, a Cancer Pisces. Or Scorpio. Gemini's energy is here. Someone that will stabilize things or balance things out for you or with you. I'm getting like maybe in June, um, June or July. And you're not going to see this person coming. This could be someone you work with as well. I don't know why I feel like I said that before to you. Someone you work with or work around. Or you see this person on your way to work or on your way home from work. But someone, someone that you work with. All right, let's see. Gracie. No, this is a new person, Ashley. Not anyone coming back in from your past. This is a new person. You may meet them on your way to work, at work, on or on your way home from work. All right, Gracie, what's going on with Gracie for this week? So I see a new opportunity coming in, Gracie.
I see you getting clarity about something. Something here is coming full circle for you. Like a new opportunity. Oh, I didn't bet my dang one lip. <laughs> oh, boy, oh boy. A new opportunity, a new possibility. Um, I feel like this is something. This could be like a love offer coming towards you. But I feel like if you've been disappointed in the past, like you may feel like you're over it. Like I'm just over this this type of um, behavior or I'm over love. I'm over things not working out. And you may be wanting to turn your back. But I feel like I feel the need to say to stay in a moment because I feel like something here is coming full circle for you that's going to bring you some type of joy and happiness in a form of love. Yeah, could have something to do with a Leo. You got Leo's energy here strong, like really strong. The strength card and the sun card is here. And it's like you're going to have to have the strength and courage to push through the doubt. Like if you're doubting something, you're going to have to be able to push through it, to get to the other side or to complete it. You got the ten of the ten of um, pentacles here too. So there's some type of stability coming in, coming your way. Something that's going to make you feel whole, complete. And it could be someone you work with. So I have to say it. I know you don't want to hear it. But that's what I have. All right, let's see, Jazz. Jasmine. I got to say Jasmine because I have a Jazz and I have a Jasmine. And I think both Jazz and Jasmine are both here. All right, let's see. Jazz, Jasmine would like to know what's in store for me in love. And I have a second question if I should go for their promotion. You said Gracie. Oh, you know what, Gracie? <laughs> Gracie, you are funny. Gracie, like, I'm not into him at all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All the guys that like you, you don't like them. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious to me. Yeah, this is you for you, Jasmine. I'm trying to concentrate because Gracie is funny. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So, Jasmine, I see you have a new beginning here, but the problem here for you is you're not moving on from that situation. You got the chariot in a reverse. You're welcome, Gracie. <laughs> you are not moving on from that situation, Jasmine. You have no, a new beginning here, but it's like that situation is blocking. It's blocking a new beginning for you. Yep, it's pause. Okay. So, maybe you're seeing things now from a different perspective since you decided to like start over because because this could be you and your person starting over again and deciding that neither of you want to move on from this union yep 
Yeah. I see you um, sticking with this. Work and more work. Um, as far as your you um the position on a job, I'm getting a yes. I mean, go for it. I'm getting a yes. Why is this um, Ten of Swords here? I do feel like it's going to come with a lot of responsibility. So if you are not wanting that responsibility, then don't go for it. Because it's saying like, yes, this would definitely be like a good opportunity for something more successful, but the responsibility that comes along with it can lead to like some type of mental breakdown. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Jasmine. All right. Let's see who is next. Martha. Hey, Martha. Are you still there? Let's see. We have Martha, Jane, and then Amma. You're welcome, Jasmine. Thanks for joining in. You know you can still send me emails, Jasmine. I'll, I'll respond. What is coming my way? Martha. What's coming in for Martha? Martha. Okay. Who hi Shawanda? How are you? If you want to ask a question, you can just post it. I don't know. Um all right, you too, Jasmine. Martha. Oh. So Martha, I have um Libra's energy is here. Are you worried about something, Martha? I see some um, anxiety or some type of worrying going on. Or do you feel alone? Like, do you feel like you're by yourself? Oh, maybe a new job. Okay. Yeah, because I do see you looking, like planning and looking for something more. So I see you have an option here. I do see a breakthrough coming, uh, coming your way, a new opportunity. And I feel like it's going to come in quickly. Something here, your finances are going to balance out. It may require you to accept a new job offer or a new role on your job. But I'm definitely getting something here balancing out in regards to your finances. Like some type of financial stability is here. So if you were worried about money, that is coming to an end. Oh, you have swipe career. Okay. Yeah. That's what I saw. Like, I seen, like, if your money, if you were worried about money, that is going to balance out. Things are going to work out for you. 
You're welcome, Martha. Thank you for joining in. I appreciate it. All right, Jane. We have Jane, Alma, and I don't know who's next, but I can see Jane and Alma right now. Let's see what's coming in towards Jane and love, and then we have Alma. What is coming in towards Jane and love, or who is coming in towards Jane? Oh, okay. Four of Wands. Do I have a Gemini or a Virgo coming your way? Wow, that car stuck right up. Could meet this person at some type of resort. That was supposed to be this one. Could be a Capricorn. Someone that's very tempting. Like you could be really attracted to this person. I see you meeting someone at a celebration. This could be like a family um, vacation or some type of resort. A family reunion. Some type of celebration where there's a lot of people. I'm more so getting like a vacation though. I see you meeting someone on vacation while you're on vacation or at some type of family celebration or gathering. All right, um, I'm going to move on to Ama. Hey, Ama, how are you? What's happening for me in love that, make, <laughs> that, that will make me really, really happy? <laughs> I know that's right. Ama. What is happening in love? Okay. That will make Ama really happy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So I have Gemini's energy here. The Queen of Pentacles. The King of Wands. Okay. So Ama, I feel like I see someone watching you, looking at you, watching you, but they're waiting for the right time to come towards you. You're not even, you don't even see this person looking at you. And this could be someone you work with. Look at this. You're focused on your work or your pinnacles or your money. And this person is looking directly at you. Okay. So someone is watching you. You don't see this person watching you because you're either working or you're focused on something else. This person is waiting for the right time to come your way. Yeah, this is someone you work with. They're just waiting for the right time. Yep, the two of cups. Look at it. Aw. Six, six of swords at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, I feel like your counterpart is there. You just, um, they're waiting for the right time when it's good for them or when they think, you know, it's the right time to come towards you. But this is someone that's been watching you and you don't know that this person is watching you because you're focused on other things. Clock in and clock out. Um, Jane, I, um, I already did your reading. I just did yours. So you can go back into the reading. But I just did Alma's reading. And yours, your question was right before Alma's. All right, let's see. Princess. We have Princess jo Joanna. Did I pronounce that right? Joanna. Princess, Joanna, and then Jazz. Yep, 
You're welcome, Alma. Thank you, Joy. Okay. All right. All right, princess. Let's see. Yes, I feel like this person is um, does still have feelings for you. Or this person does have feelings for you, but they're hiding it. Yeah, you got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yep. This person definitely has some type of emotion for you. So I am getting a yes for you, princess. All right, let's see, Joyana. Let's see. Energy for Joyana. You're welcome. Thank you. Joyana. General messages. General messages. Okay. I see something here about are you manifesting the money, a new job or money? I see money here. An abundance of money coming in. Money balancing out for you. Are you trying to like start a business or something? Yeah, I see money coming in. If you're trying to start a business or you're looking for a job or something like that, um, go after what you're passionate about because I feel like something here is going to work in your favor because I see money, 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 money. That's what I see. But I feel like you're going to have to work hard to like, um, to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor, so to say. Be mindful of temptation around you. Hey, Jasmine. Be mindful of temptation around you or a Capricorn. I have Capricorn's energy here. Or be mindful of people that make you feel like they place limitations on what you feel like you can do. Okay, get rid of those people. I feel like you have some money coming your way or some type of new business idea or something. And, um, okay, three of these questions are starting to look the same way. I don't know if this is um, the same person, but the question is the same question. But that's what I have for you, Joyana. I'm, that, that wasn't for you. That was for someone else. Jazz, are you still there? Jazz, okay, I'm on you now. I'm answering your question now. Career got stuck in the rut for a few years now. Are there any lessons I need to learn before we start my career again? Okay, Jazz. All right, so I guess this is your career being stuck in a rut. Um, and then you got the fool card. So I do not feel that there is anything new that you need to learn. What I feel you need to do is to just start, just to take a leap of faith. Okay, because I feel like if you are feeling as if um, you're like out of the loop, I feel like once you get started and you start moving in it, the universe is going to align you with someone like a, um, a mentor or... Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And I, and, and I feel like... Once you get back out there, the universe is going to align you with like a mentor or someone that's going to um, carry you through until you get back into a safe space. 
okay? I just feel like you just need to get, get back out there. You'll be okay. Yeah, you're going to be fine. But you have to get back out there. You got to take the risk, take the leap of faith in order for your vision to, to come into fruition. Because you know our minds can play some tricks on us. Yes, take that leap of faith. You'll be okay. All right, so Shawanda, you're welcome. Jazz, thank you for joining in. Shawanda. Let's see, is your ex coming back, Shawanda? I see this person wanting to come back, but taking their time. But I feel like the ex is the ex for a reason. That's just my own personal my own personal opinion pertaining to exes. Um, but I see this person wanting to come back in, but taking their time. Okay. So I do feel like your person is going to come back in, but they're just dragging their feet. All right, let's see. Chasmine. Hey, Chasmine. Chasmine, hey, lady, what did each friends think of me when they met me? Oh, you done met the friends, Chasmine? Go ahead, girl. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm happy. <laughs> Ooh. That means you're moving up, moving along. Well, he's moving up and moving along. You're welcome, Shawanda. Oh, that is so nice. <laughs> okay. So, I feel like his friends they they find you attractive. Um, they definitely feel like you're a good fit for him. Like you balance him out. Be mindful. Some of them may be a little jealous. You know, you always got a hater or two in the, in the, um, group. <laughs> uh, yeah, but overall I'm getting like, they, they, they enjoyed you. They liked you. Yeah. Some of them find you uh, attractive, just to let you know that. You said an old dude was waving at you. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, they feel like you're a good fit. Yep. I feel like they're going to like express to him to like hold on or to, you know, to keep you. Or to make this a long-term thing. Yep. 
So they definitely gave him the stamp of approval. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what I got, the stamp of approval. That is so good. I'm so happy for you. You got to keep me posted. I'll need to know about engagement parties, weddings. I want to know all of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. I mean, he introduced you to his friends. I think that's like important. Okay. All right. Thanks, Chasman. All right. Let's see, Hannah. Hannah. Hannah, you can have a Capricorn coming your way. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'm getting, like, Earth sign energy. Yes. Hmm. See, some of these, some, some readings are, um, warnings. That's what I'm getting from this one. So, you could either have a Capricorn coming your way. This could be someone you work with. But this person may have financial issues and may need to start over. And you're going to have to take a risk to be with this person because you may be financially stable and this person is not. It looks like this person may be having financial issues or they lost their job or something. Well, I do see some type of um, coming together or gathering. So, Hannah, you just have to put in your mind, like, if this person comes in and they're not, like, financially set or financially stable, you're going to have to decide on if you want to, like, move forward with this person or not. Because I see someone here having some type of financial issues. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I think I answered everyone. I did. If I didn't, I apologize. But I am going to be logging off now. I wish you all the best. Sending you all love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for joining in. Be safe out there. Please be safe. Okay, and enjoy your night and I will see you next time. Peace.